The abuse of alcohol and drugs, residents say, is the number one contributing factor to violent crimes being committed, with even school children implicated in some incidences. Residents are also concerned about the unrestricted sale of drugs and alcohol with some liquor outlets selling to minors. Women who were in the majority at the meeting said children abscond classes because of hangovers and cannot perform at school. We, especially women, must come together and rally behind our children and live exemplary lives and wipe out all the evil committed in our community. They therefore called on government to intervene by ordering the police to cooperate with them so that Shabin owners are taken to task. Gender-based violence is another concern for the women of Malta here who say that their husbands harass them after returning from drinking holes. During weekends, we the elderly are resting while the young are out getting drunk and it's chaotic. School children are at the forefront and we need urgent help from the authorities. Chairperson of the committee, Ida Hoffman, told the emotional residents not to despair but to unite and fight for their rights. The committee is on a fact-finding mission to the regions and will compile a report which will be tabled before parliament for possible amendment of laws.